to uh, engage with Jeff Mogire. Jeff Mogire, I know there is a lot that has been happening in the world of basketball. And Kenya is very, very cautious, adamant, and courageously saying that they have what it takes to be able to bag a slot and qualify for the FIBA Afro Basketball. But of first, it is that test in Kigali, Rwanda, where they will go for the qualifiers. The team, I know the international players have been able to come in, and today is the day that they say that they will be telling us the party that will be doing duty for the country. So, Mogire, is Kenya comf comfortable and confident saying that they have uh, players who will go to Rwanda and come back home with some positive results? Well, Moses, uh, the national team is preparing. Right now, as we speak, uh, they are behind me preparing right here in Nyayo. They are training. Early in the morning when we came here, they were doing their first COVID-19 test. Later on, they'll do another one, the second one, before they travel to Rwanda to do another one because they'll be segregated for some time. They do a test. After 24 hours, they'll be allowed to come into the, into the bubble and then make sure that they, they are allowed into the camp where they will be doing what we call training and playing and qualifying. Kenya has been pulled with uh, Senegal, Angola, and uh, teams like Mozambique. Only three teams are going to qualify for the Afro basketball. Kenya plays the first leg, and then th there will be the second leg of these uh, Afro basketball games. It all depends on how Kenya plays their cards and then to see if they will qualify. About international players, players like uh, Ronnie Gundo has not arrived here. Uh, Tyler Okar has not arrived here, and uh, Willis, uh, Desmond Willy has not arrived here yet. You have players like uh, uh, Bungay, who is going to make his debut here, Preston Bungay, all the way from Australia. We were waiting to see if they get here and get ready with the national team, train themselves, prepare themselves for the Afro basketball qualifiers. But right now, I'm, jo I'm joined by the chairman uh, of the national of the basketball board right here in Kenya to tell us exactly what are the challenges they are facing and how this thing is going down for them right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you Give so us much. your view about these preparations and everything. All right. Wonderful. Big Ted here. I'm the chairman of the Kenya Basketball Federation Management Board. And uh, we are a new team which has been tasked with the responsibility of raising resources and also raising awareness about the national team. So, of course, with the worldwide pandemic, uh, COVID-19, it's actually affected a lot of things in terms of fundraising and preparing a team like this one. So, first of all, the first thing which had to happen before the team, after the team was selected, is that we had to get permission from the government to actually host uh, the players to training. And after that is when we went on to the next step of being able to shortlist the players coming in from abroad. As you mentioned, yes, all our players who are outside are on their way back in right now. Bungay, um, um, who's uh, making his debut, as you said, from Australia, is also coming in. We also have our players in uh, Rwanda, Uganda, and other states who will also be coming in this week. So what shall happen is immediately after this, uh, the tests which have been done today, on Monday, once we get them, we shall present them back to the government. And on Tuesday, next week, we go on into the bubble, which will be down at Kasarani. So we intend to simulate the exact situation that they'll play in in Rwanda, in terms of having all the electronics, all the technicals, and the, the whole uh, sphere uh, being ready for them. One of the things that has really, really hindered our preparation is basically fundraising. And as a board, that's what we're tasked to do, to, to raise resources. And we have tried our best to reach out to various people, but most of the big sponsors have actually locked down their budgets, most of the big corporates. And one of the next moves we're doing from next week is that we shall be inviting each Kenyan of goodwill to actually participate and be able to send something small to help the national team to reach. Yes, the government has been uh, very kind to us, and they're handling quite a bit of the budgets, but we always need to raise uh, money and finances and resources for the, a team like this one. Uh, we've received quite a bit of it, and we shall show you what we've received from various people, uh, donations for the COVID tests and uh, some of the things that we require in a camp like this one. Because of time, uh, I'll ask you a question, the last question probably for me. Are you ready for the Afro basketball qualifiers? How ready are you? And is Kenya going to make it to be among the top three teams qualifying? Well, we showed the world what we can do right here at Nyaya Stadium. We're about to show the world what we are made of. One of the things that we're also doing is we're using this to gauge new players uh, who we have in the training team and which will build a new crop of players for the next squads that are coming up. Now, Kenya is going in there 
And uh, I know the other countries are not taking us lightly because you know what we did to South Sudan right here, what we've done to the other teams in the qualifiers. So this is actually going to be a very, very tough uh, match, but we are up to the task. Our players are psyched up, pumped, ready to, the, to do this thing. So we are ready. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank I you. like that cup of yours, Michael Jordan. That's well, a legend, man. You, you can <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll talk about that later. So that is the chairman, uh, Big Ted, from Kenya Basketball uh, Board. He's the chairman there. And we are expecting the national team to perform well down there in, in, in Rwanda so that they qualify for the Afro basketball. First leg, second leg, Kenya is going to triumph. Back to you, Moses. So there is a lot uh, that uh, Jeff has told us about uh, that uh, team, and we know that competition will be high. The question is, will this Kenyan team be able to go and get a victory in that uh, group? A very, very competitive.